That is a cut on that. That is a I, cut on that. I was going to write notes from the bookstore, which usually comes at this point in the podcast, but then I thought, this is such a good story. <laughs> and I think it really is a good story. Yes, but I still miss notes from the bookstore. Oh, it'll be coming back next week. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about in the bookstore. We will be talking about the really bizarre story of how I became a manager. Ooh. I'm technically a manager. Really yes. weird. Yeah. One of the managers at work, uh, Maddie, said, yeah, of course, nobody told me. I'm like, I'm like the, the one manager everybody forgets about. And I said, yeah, yeah. the simple fact that you said that out loud without realizing that another manager was in the room with you shows you that you are wrong. <laughs> FYI. I'm like a diet manager. Yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. a, I'm like a manager zero. All the good taste of a manager, but with zero calories. <laughs> So, yeah, that's fun for me. Yeah. And again, I am not in any way saying that the six foot five uh, innocent, devout Christian farm boy, blue eyed, blonde haired, white skinned former receiving manager was in any way treated as more of a manager than I was. Yeah. A bizarre, uh, emotionally stunted, long haired Mexican. I'm not saying that. Yes. I'm in no way saying that. Well, you know, I can... I miss Farm Boy Veteran. I really miss having Farm Boy Veteran working next to me. Yeah. That guy was amazing. <laughs> he would listen to audiobooks at work. Who does that? I can't listen to a book and work. Yeah. I'm going to be, like, doing boxes and beeping boxes in, and then suddenly getting lost in the world of Westeros. <laughs> What was I doing again? I think I was working. Oh, I don't know. All I know is who is going to rule the Iron Throne? Like, <laughs> I can't work and pay attention to a book series. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, I can, I can understand why you would want to be in the receiving area. Okay. I can understand why you would want to do that job lot less contact with the customers. Oh, hell yeah. You know, no. all, all of this, you know, you no. most likely don't have to deal with a lot of the drama and bullshit that happens with the other employees on the floor. 10-4. You know. So, I, also get to, I also get to dress however I want, mm -hmm. and I get to listen to whatever music I want. The other day, I was listening to a Pakistani rap song. Yes. And, and one of the cafe people came in and said what are you listening to and i said i am the receiving manager so whatever the hell i want to yes but at the same time i can also see them wanting to put the mexican where nobody can see him yeah in in oklahoma in oklahoma yeah mm-hmm but the weird thing is, and I've mentioned this so many times before, I've had less racism in Oklahoma than I did in Arizona and California, mm -hmm. primarily because I kind of sort of look Native American. Uh huh. And Native Americans get such a pass here because there's all <laughs> these angry white Christians going, oh, is he Native American? I was going to get angry at him because he's an immigrant. But we did steal his land, so hi, thanks for the casinos. <laughs> I'll just leave you to your stuff. <laughs> so I'm so I get a less racism here, but it's less racism with the understanding that if I cut my hair, yeah, <laughs> if I in any way show my Mexicanity, um, I am tarred and feathered. Ducktails. <laughs> Ooh. You just you're you're singing the Ducktales theme song. You just came in here to sing the Ducktales theme song, Maxwell. Ducktales were was a cartoon when I was a kid. When I was your age, Ducktales was a cartoon, and I watched it all the time, and I loved it. 
and now DuckTales is a new cartoon, and you love it. And, and I, you love a new version of a cartoon that I loved when I was a kid, and that's called The Circle of Life. And <laughs> The Circle of Life, it moves us all. In fact, I wrote a song called The Circle of Life. Would you like me to sing it to you? Of course you would. It goes like this. Let it go. Let it go. Why did you walk away not done with the song? Let it go. Let it go. These are the only words that I know. Because my kids were never into Frozen. Oops, I dropped the camera. <laughs> I was going to end the live feed of the Pope on Film podcast. And, uh after uh, that wonderful story about uh, gay sex orgies, yes, gay Christian sex orgies, but apparently Destiny was notified of the live feed when it began, and she is so offended. She wasn't notified of the live feed when it began, and she missed a bunch of the live feed, and now I, I think she's upset. So I feel that I should continue with the podcast just for Destiny's sake. Uh, I gave a shout out, Destiny. I gave a shout out to Destiny earlier in the podcast. Maxwell, yes. what time is it? Should you be going to bed? You need to go to bed, Maxwell. Tell mommy that you need to get to bed. Say, I need to get to bed. I am Maxwell. Look at my shorts. They are amazing. I need to get to bed. Go and tell mommy <laughs> that right now, immediately. Okay? Go ahead and tell her that. Go. And also give me a kiss. I love you. I said, give me a kiss. Come here, give me a kiss. You kissed my spine? <laughs> Boo! Boo! Okay, good night, Maxwell. Good night. Good night, Maxwell. <clears throat> and, uh, so and so ends the circle of life. My kids were never into Frozen. It was weird. All kids, like there was that period in time when it's like Frozen is the greatest movie of all time. If you yeah. are a child, you love Frozen. And then I turn to Emerald and Bella and they're just on their phones going, uh, yeah, no, dad. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it. This is supposed to be the thing yeah. that everybody likes. Maxwell, do you want this? And he's like, maybe. Uh, Olaf is funny. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm going to go watch <laughs> Avengers Age of Ultron again. And I'm like, damn it. I raised you to be too good of a superhero fan. Now you're not into Disney magic. Although technically it's also Disney magic because Marvel bought uh, Disney was bought, Marvel bought Disney. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. It, um, yeah, you understand. You understand. So, yeah, kids were never into Frozen. No. You know who was into Frozen? My nephew, Jaden. Oh, okay. He was into Frozen. He was super into Frozen. He had the Frozen toys, and he would watch Frozen like once or twice a day, and he was obsessed with it. And you could kind of tell that like uh, 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 his parents, Lauren and Dwayne, were kind of like, yeah, we're happy that he's into something and that he likes it. <laughs> hey, Jaden, we love your spirit. And, and we will be checking in with Jaden from time to time throughout the rest of his life. But maybe here's some Spider-Man Legos. Why don't you see what you can do with those? What was that Saturday night sketch for the pills? Gay away or gay and all or oh yeah something like that something yes. like that. <laughs> My wife has me trained so well that I was on Instagram today and Saturday Night Live's Instagram feed posted a picture and it said, "Who is your dream host for this upcoming season of Saturday Night Live?" And when I read that, what I read in my head was. We have no idea who to cast as the host for the upcoming season of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Any ideas? So I wanted to write a wrestler. And so I was going to write, like, John Cena. But it's like, oh, wait, he's already hosted, like, two or three times. So, like, yeah. there, there's no point in that. I don't know. Who's the next big wrestler? Uh, Roman Reigns. But then it's like, oh, no, I don't particularly like him. He's not ready. No, screw Roman Reigns. So then I just put The Miz. 
because he's been <laughs> in wrestling for like a decade, and they've never given him like the main push that he needs. So I just put the Miz, and then I just left him. Yeah. And then like a minute later, I started feeling guilty, and I'm like, God damn it, I need to vote for Natasha. Okay. So I went back and I wrote cast of supernatural parentheses various parentheses. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, yeah, no, no. I totally understand how you feel, Bonnie. You've never watched Supernatural, but you could have a lengthy conversation with someone about Supernatural. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Yeah, At any time. Amazing. Yeah, Supernatural. That's, that's that's the show that has Misha Collins, who plays the uh, Angel Castiel. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. and Sam was Dean, and Dean was Sam. Yeah, Sam was Dean when he works. was on the Gilmore Girls, and he was wa- working in the grocery store. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And Dean, oh. who is not Sam, Dean, who's Dean, can sing a mean version of "Eye of the Tiger." Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. 